Right, today's adventure is verifying that I have the correct top dead center on my 390 using a piston stop. What I have done is I put on a new harmonic balancer. So I need to verify that when it says I'm at top dead center on the indicator that that's true. And the way to do that is to stop the piston in two directions and make sure that the middle is what you're indicating as zero on the balancer. So again, this is a piston stop. This is a comp piston stop, a company I could find that actually made one. I believe it is POW101332 or something like that. Anyway, uh, they make a couple, so make sure you get the right ones that fit your head. And we're just gonna put that right in like a spark plug. How to actually reach the piston on mine, you have to thread this thing all the way in. Pretty good reach distance. Um, in there okay so that will stop the piston coming up now I'm going to rotate the engine over by hand uh, if you can see that I put masking tape on the balancer that allows me to mark zero and then I'm gonna make two more marks when I hit the piston stop in both directions and then we'll peel the tape off and I'll show you that all right now I've rotated the engine over by hand until it comes up to the stop again don't use the starter that would be tragic and then I just reach in here with a pen Make a mark right against the timing line there. Okay, so now I have three marks on the tape. Middle is zero. And then the other lines are each time it hit the piston stop. And what do we have? Well, if I line up these ones, zero out there, okay? Then I move over here, you can see they're not quite the same. So then I can measure the distance. Point three seven five, and we'll get an amount of degrees out of that. Okay, now everybody's favorite part, math time. <laughs> so again, um, this was off by, well, it was longer on one side by 0 0.0375. So we have to take that over two, because as we move this, one side gets shorter, one side gets longer. So we're really off by 0 0.01875, which is not much, but let's find exactly. So we know we have a seven and a half inch balancer, multiply that times pi to get our circumference. 23.5619, divide that by 360 degrees, and we have 0 0.0654 inches per degree. So as you move it around that balancer, every 0 0.654 inches, you're moving one degree of rotation. So then we take our inaccuracy, 0 0.01875 over 0 0.0654 inches per degree, and we can see we are off by just over a quarter of a degree, which is not enough to really see when you're timing the thing. So I can say that my balancer and timing mark are accurate. Time to pull out the piston stop and put a spark plug back in the hole. So now what would I do if the timing marks were off? Um, in my case, I don't have to do anything because I'm not going to correct that quarter of a degree, but I'd have a couple options. Um, one would be to loosen up the bolts or actually take the uh, timing pointer off completely, slot the holes and adjust the pointer um, one way or the other. If I was off by a couple of degrees, I might only get, you know, an eighth of an inch out of that, which comes out to only two degrees. Uh, so I won't get a lot of adjustment out of that. If it was more than that, um, then I would need to cover up the marks completely on the balancer with timing tape. And I would put that tape at true zero and use that to time it. But in this case, we're all good. I don't have to make any adjustments and I know I can time based on the marks on that balancer. And that is a professional products, I think just their standard 390 balancer. It's not SFI approved, at least for my car, it's accurate.